Why does Bad Grandpa exist is very simple, my friends, to put to rest the rumors once and for all about there being no more class in modern cinema. Bad Grandpa. So Bad Grandpa is presented by the Jackass crew. You know in the Jackass movies, Johnny Knoxville will dress in the old man makeup and go around and just mess with people? It's that, but an entire movie based around that character. Well, that character and a little kid, and in this movie, actually, there's a story to go along with it. Yeah, it's not like Jackass, where there's just skit after skit, and they're unrelated. They do form a story around it. The story is, this little kid has to get to his deadbeat dad because his mom's going to jail. So Irving, the Bad Grandpa, needs to get this kid to his dad. It's a road trip, Jackass style. How can you not look forward? to that. This movie cracked me up. A lot of the bits had me laughing pretty hard. Because it's amazing what we let old people get away with. Johnny Knoxville plays the part up perfectly. He's this old perv who's remarkably racist and you let him get away with that shit because you're like, yeah, you're old. It's uh, you're old. The movie is just a really interesting social experiment. That's how I saw it. It's interesting to see what people will put up with. It's interesting to see what people will turn a blind eye from. I mean, this old guy is taking this kid cross country and he's saying shit to the kid. The kid's saying things things back him. It, it's obviously dysfunctional. And these people who are not in on the joke react. There was one bit. It cracked me up. These people, I mean, obviously something was wrong. And Knoxville's giving excuses like, no, 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 it's not what you think. It's this. And they're like, okay, it must be. And it's not. It's clearly, he's gonna do some illegal shit. You can tell, you can see the gears in these people's heads turning where it's like, if I just don't say anything, I don't have to deal with it. So I, I actually don't think it's bad. I think they got fired. I really do think they got fired. At first, the fact that there is a story and they're in the car talking to each other and no one's being pranked, but they're playing their roles for you, the audience. It's unexpected. So you're like, oh, what's this? And you fall into it and you're like, oh, okay, it's cool. The moment you accept this prank movie as more than just a prank movie, but a road trip movie of character bonding, you're like, ah, oh, cool. And it works for you. I tip my hat to this movie because they optimized every situation. Imagine a road trip, every pit stop you make in a road trip and more because they're going to make more pit stops in this road trip because <laughs> they have to entertain you. But every pit stop is another opportunity to mess with people. And we get to enjoy it. How is that not great? The biggest bummer in this movie is the trailer showed too much. Yeah, the beauty contest scene that's in the trailer. It's like the holy shit moment of the trailer. It's supposed to be the holy shit moment of the movie too. It's the last bit they do. It's the big closer, but you've seen it in the trailer. And if you've seen the trailer like 21 times because you watch a lot of movies like I do, then you have seen the bit 21 times. It doesn't make the bit less impressive. It just makes it kind of old at this point. I have seen that bit so much. You can't show your strong closing bit in the trailer that's stupid. So it makes the movie look like it's just hilarious and then it fizzles and then it ends. You're like, oh, okay, well, it kind of had a weak ending. That sucks ass. For the most part though, Bad Grandpa was hilarious. Johnny Knoxville and this little kid work really well together. That kid's really talented. I don't know how that kid keeps a straight face, but he rolls with a lot of shit. He ad-libs really well too. This kid's on his game. You have more variety in the Jackass movies. You have a lot more people doing a lot of different shit. Bad Grandpa is ultimately the same two characters pranking people. People, which is still hilarious, so Bad Grandpa is worth buying on Blu-ray. It had heart too, my friends. Hit me where I live. I did learn a valuable lesson in this movie though. Never, ever, 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 ever call a black dude's dick a Tootsie Roll to his face. That is clearly an offensive line thing. All right, so Bad Grandpa, have you seen it? What's your favorite prank they do in the movie? And if you haven't seen Bad Grandpa, what's your favorite prank you've ever seen? Whatever it is, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.